All right, Larry Kruger from the Pig and a Pickle Krug Show with a little 49er Eagles reaction video. Man, what a win for the 49ers. They go into Philly and they get it done. They put up 42 against this Eagles defense and wind up winning this game despite the fact the first quarter looked ugly. Let's talk a little bit about this one. First quarter, all Philly. They came out, they had a 12 play drive for 67 yards. Um, you know, Hertz looked really, really sharp. He hit A.J. Brown with a big play early on in the game for 37 yards, and you're like, wow, Philly's on their game. But Mooney Ward made a play on third and seven from the eight, a nice little pass defense that forced a field goal, and so 12 plays, 67 yards, but they get the field goal. So they're up 3 nothing early on, and Hurts did look good early. Niners couldn't do anything early. They went three and out on the first drive, um, Jordan Davis tipped a pass on first down. Reddick got a big sack on second down, and, and Niners were forced to punt. So then the Eagles get it back on their second drive. They go the, they go from the 26-yard line. They drive all the way down the field. Um, Randy Gregory had a missed sack on Hurts. He ran for seven yards. That was a key play. But Javon Kinlaw, on a second-and-five play, would sack Hurts. Hurts fell down. It was a Niners had amazing coverage, pass coverage in this game. Um, and the pass coverage on this particular play, the second and five from the 13 yard line, Kinlaw got credit with a sack. But, um, you know, that forced Philly basically to kick another field goal. And Elliott came on for a 39 yard field goal. So, first quarter, two 12 play long extended drives, and the Eagles were dominating, but they were only up six nothing. So, you know, if you look at that time of possession edge at that point, at late in the second quarter, it was like 12 minutes for the Eagles and like a minute for the Niners. So they were they were really hurting, but then the Niners eventually would get it going in the second quarter. In fact, the end of the first quarter, 124 yards to minus six in total yards. Philly held the ball for almost 13 minutes. The Niners held the ball for like two minutes. So really all Philly in the first quarter. But the Niners' third possession, they took it from their 15-yard line. The first pass play completed was Purdy to Ayuk on a second and 15 from the 10. But they're only in a 6 nothing hole. So they come back. Uh, Purdy finds Kittle for a key first down. He found Debo on a 13-yard crosser on, to convert a third down. He found Kittle again for 32 yards. And then Purdy ran and took a big hit from Bradley Roby on first and goal from the 10. And the Niners would get down to third and goal from the two and Purdy to Brandon Ayuk for a touchdown. And, you know, Philly challenged the call and it, you know, looked like Ayuk got it and then the ball just kind of rolled over the ball. They thought it was an incompletion, but that was a touchdown. So even despite the fact the Niners were getting dominated, they're up seven, six at this point. Um, then the fourth drive, the Niners go up 14-6. They took it from their 10-yard line, and they moved it down the field, and Purdy to Debo on a swing pass for a first down on second and five from the 19. Set them up on the doorstep, and then McCaffrey from on second and goal. Three-yard touchdown run to the left. Beautiful call right between Banks and Williams. 14-6, 49ers at that point. CMC's uh, 12th rushing touchdown, 26 games with the Niners. McCaffrey, 30 touchdowns, and that's how good he's been. And that left Philly no time at the going into the locker room. So Philly basically had to kneel on it at the end of the first half. Niners, so the Niners led 14-6 at half. Purdy, 9 of 15 for 118 yards. But Philly won the time of possession, 17 minutes to 13. But the Niners' domination in that second quarter really evened the score. So 49ers get it back, th uh, first possession of the third quarter, their fifth offensive possession. And on a key third and five, Purdy went to Jawan Jennings um, on a great pass play from the 30-yard line for 18 yards out to the uh, out to like the almost midfield. And then Purdy hit CMC in the flat on third and two. And then first and goal from the 12, Debo. Uh, on a reverse for the touchdown, and he just was not going to be denied there. 21-6 49ers, uh, seven-play, 75-yard drive. So Niners looked really good there. They got the offense going. And then the what I thought was going to be their death knell, 
Philly was dead. Niners are up 21-6. It looks like this thing's going to be all Niners. And then Dre Greenlaw throws down Devontae Smith, gets a penalty, then gets disqualified for putting his finger in the face of Philly's head head uh, head of security, who then also got ejected. But then the crowd's super into it, and Hertz moves the ball down the field and scores on a one-yard run, and suddenly it's 21-13, and it's anybody's ball game. And the momentum, I felt like Greenlaw's play, even though Greenlaw's awesome, um, you know, I love how physical he is, but he kind of crossed the line right there, and it really got the Philly crowd going. So uh, it was a 10-play drive that Philly scored on. Hertz goes in on the tush push, and Philly's 20, uh, Niners leads down to, to 21-13. So they still had an eight-point lead at that point. But um, you're thinking, okay, is this going to be one of those games where the Niners blow it in the second half? But the Niners' next possession, I mean, this is how great Debo was. Now, Ray Ray had a rib injury. I believe that's why Ray Ray didn't go. Um, but Debo, you could make an argument, is the Niners' best kickoff return guy, even better than Ray Ray. And he had a 25-yard a kickoff return to on the next sequence there, and I thought his energy really gave the Niners a lift. Um, they came onto the field. First play, Fletcher Cox sacks Purdy, and you're like, oh, my God, now they're falling behind the track, falling behind the – the sticks, but Purdy on third and seven from his own 26 found Ayuk uh, on a beautiful pass play. Uh, you know, really nice move against Derry against uh, against Slay. Uh, just a nice little comeback route by Ayuk, and that moved the chains. Um, and then Purdy on first and ten from the 48 goes to Debo, and Debo just absolutely ran through the defense to make it 28-13. Beautiful play, um, you know, and it's just, you know, fantastic, fantastic play by Debo, individual play, 28-13. It's all pretty much done at that point. And, you know, that was, that was uh, you know, late third quarter. Um, but, of course, the Eagles, you know, would, would, you know, it was 28-13 at the end of the third quarter, but the Eagles would score again on a Hurts to Devontae Smith pass play that where he beat Lenore. Uh, Fred Warner got a big hit on the two point conversion, and but at that point it was 35 19. And then Debo on second and nine from the 46. Purdy goes to Debo on a little tunnel screen, and he goes 46 yards to the house, and it was all over but the crying 42 42 uh, 19 at that point. And that's how it ended, 42-19. Kalia Davis, oh, Demo Lenore had a huge, huge hit on the Eagles' last possession, one of the biggest hits of the day. And then Kalia Davis got his first career sack late in the game, and the Niners go to Philly, and they win 42-19. Four in a row for the 49ers. All right, a couple things that quickly stand out in this game. One, Debo's a primetime player, man. I mean, he just... He talked a big game, and he was very confident this week when he was asked about it. He didn't back down. He said, hey, we'll see on Sunday. And, you know, you knew he was going to back it up, and sure enough, he did. You know, three runs for 22 yards and a touchdown, but then four catches for 116 yards and two more touchdowns. Three touchdowns for Debo. He was monster. He's a primetime player, man. You, show the, you put the lights on, and that guy shows up. Another guy who's a big-time player, um, we, you know, with money on the table is Juwan Jennings. Three catches, 44 yards, and a touchdown for Juwan Jennings. He was outstanding. And then Brock Purdy, 19 of 27, 314 yards, four touchdowns, only sacked twice. He had a 148 rating. Uh, they're going to be talking about Brock Purdy for the MVP. On the defensive side, Mooney Ward, I thought, was outstanding. I mean, he had four tackles. He had he had four different passes defended. Uh, I thought he was just he's playing at such a high level right now. Uh, that was really fun to see. Niners D line got three sacks, but the more importantly, they got nine hits on the quarterback. Greenlaw had seven before he was ejected. Really didn't think he should have been ejected. And one guy that in Kinlaw had two sacks, and it was easily the best game for him. And a lot of redemption for Javon too, because you know last year was not a great. 
uh, memory for him. He had to go through the entire offseason. In a lot of ways, I think he gets redemption in a place where he kind of put out some bad film. He had some outstanding plays tonight. And, uh, you know, just living in the backfield and, and just be, being a force, which is really what he is. But the guy that has to be mentioned, I think, is that the 49ers, if there's one thing that really stood out in this game, it was that the Niners' coverage, despite the fact that, you know, Philly's receivers both have good numbers, A.J. Brown had eight catches for 114. Devontae Smith had nine catches for 96 yards. I thought Ambry Thomas was outstanding in this game. Uh, he had, you know, Ambry Thomas, I thought, played a really strong game. Six tackles, three passes defended, um, a number of plays where he was just right there on the on the wide receiver. So, you know, I think overall it was a good team win, but I would have to say the coverage on the back end was outstanding. And then Oren Burke stepping in when Greenlaw got ejected, he made a couple of really nice plays, including the big hit that kind of hurt uh, Jalen Hurts a little bit. But overall, great team win. Uh, Debo is such a primetime player. Brock Purdy is firmly in that MVP race. He did he did just enough. I don't think he looked that sharp early, but uh, man, he looked better and better when he settled into that game. And the 49ers don't just go to Philly. They go to Philly and they put up 42 and they make a huge statement as to who the best team in football really is. All right, we're going to talk about it next on The Krug Show. Join us on YouTube. Thanks to Pig and a Pickle for being the title sponsor, New York Style Sausage and Marin Auto Glass, as well as Underdog Fantasy and Mojo Fantasy. Join us on The Krug Show on YouTube. It's next.